Hopefully, this case will be resolved and justice will be served. There is new information coming to light in the high-profile murder trial of Lori Vallow Daybell. Yeah, the jury hearing opening statements today and testimony from the first two witnesses in the case, Daniel Woodruff, live outside the courthouse in Boise, Idaho, with the very latest on what happened in court today. Daniel? Prosecutors say that Lori Vallow Daybell had several motives to kill and that she was fueled by extreme religious beliefs. While the defense seems to be largely relying on the jury here, finding enough reason to doubt that she's guilty. Lori Vallow Daybell sat in court listening to opening statements in the case against her. Prosecutors telling the jury money, power and sex. That's what this case is about. They say Lori did whatever she needed to do to get all three, including murdering her children, Tylee and JJ, and plotting to kill Tammy Daybell, late wife of her husband, Chad. Defense attorneys argued Lori is a good mother and has an alibi for all the deaths, while reminding the jury if there's any doubt, they must find her not guilty. The jury also heard from two witnesses. Kay Woodcock, grandmother of JJ, testified she was concerned about where her grandson was in 2019, but that Lori never responded to her. Brandon Boudreaux, once married to Lori's niece, told the court he identified JJ in 2020 after his and Tylee's bodies were discovered in Chad Daybell's yard. I saw what I wanted to see. Larry Woodcock, JJ's grandfather, sat in the courtroom, making eye contact several times with Lori. I just wanted to just looked in her eyes and at this point I'm not even asking why he says he believes this trial will lead to the right result we just want justice for everybody involved and if justice says that Lori's not guilty you know Lori's gonna have their answer to somebody else it won't be me also here in court today, prosecutors revealed publicly for the first time that Tammy Daybell, who was the longtime wife of Chad Daybell, died of asphyxiation at the hands of another person. That information was not previously known. Earlier it was said that she had died of natural causes. A lot more came out on the trial. Full story posted at KUTV.com. And court continues tomorrow morning here in Boise, Idaho at 8.30. Reporting live, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News. Now, a reminder, you can listen to the trial of Lori Vallow Daybell every day on KUTV.com. Again, opening statement started today, but you won't be able to see it or hear it live. The judge in the case barred cameras from the courtroom and any live streams. However, audio will be recorded during the day. Every day, KUTV 2 News will post that audio from the trial so you can hear exactly what happened. As soon as the audio is given to us by the court, we will upload it to our website. You can find it on our YouTube page.